Hey, how are you today? Oh, pretty good. Usually I'd ask what do you got here, but that's pretty damn obvious, ain't it? It is obvious. <laughs> this is Ronald Dunbar and General Johnson's Grammy Award that was awarded 1970 for the song Patches. You remember that song? Um, I was around five years old when that well, song came Patches, out. Patches, you're the one for, you know, remember that? <laughs> and the winner is... I'm at the pawn shop today to try and sell my Grammy Award. I've had this thing since 1983. That's when I first started practicing law here, and a client came in with it. Didn't have enough money for my services, and I thought it looked good in the office. But now, yeah, it's just collecting dust and taking up space, and I just want my money. So how'd you get this thing? I represented a guy back in 1983, and he, he brought it to me. Uh, it, he owes me quite a bit of money. The value of this thing's about $15,000. That figure is right for someone a little more famous than Ronald Dunbar. But what makes it valuable if it says Rolling Stones on the front of it? Rolling Stones can't touch these guys. If it said Miles Davis on the front of it. if it's Miles Davis can't touch these guys. Eh, it's Ronald Dunbar. He wasn't a performer. He was a writer. A performer's worth more money. Hey, no offense to Mr. Dunbar, but this thing just isn't worth as much as a big name artist. That's not to say I don't want it. I mean, it is a Grammy for God's sakes. It's not like they walk in the door every day. I wouldn't hold on to it if it was just a piece of junk. Oh, I understand, it is, it is not a piece of junk. Okay, These I, guys won the Grammy. But since 1970, there's been 50 Grammys a year. So? So 50 times 40 is two. <laughs> That's 2,000 Grammys out there. How many of those 2,000 Grammys have a name, Best Rhythm and Blues for 1970, Patches. <laughs> There's only one Patches, only one, <laughs> only one. And, and it, it's, a, it's, a, it's a great song. You know what, if you ever want to give up the whole law profession, I can give you a job. <laughs> <laughs> Grammy Awards don't come up very often. When people win them, they tend to hold on to them. This is a rare opportunity, and I would love to have this sitting on my shelf. I wouldn't mind an Oscar either. <laughs> Tell you what, because I like you. <laughs> really, I do. I do. It's really hard to I tell. Do. I'll let you have it for six thousand. Fifteen hundred. That's where I could go. That's that's what it's worth. And I'll come down to five grand for you. Fifteen hundred bucks. That's what I can do. Meet me in between. I'll meet you in the middle of two grand. Three. I feel bad already. Three grand. Twenty-two hundred. Twenty-five. Twenty-three. Twenty-five. Twenty-three. We're at twenty-five. Twenty-three. 50. 23.50, all right. <laughs> oh, man, you, you make it so I want to go take a shower now. <laughs> Just give me my money. All right, all right, let's go do the paperwork, come on. <laughs> this guy knew how to deal, no question about it. But I still got the thing for 23.50, and I can probably sell it for five grand, if I decide to sell it. Mr. Brown and I got along famously. <laughs> Why he tittled through a pass? I caught the ball myself. It's got a name engraved on it. How did you end up with this? Sounds so fun.